Breaking news. The Washington Post now confirms that it was the Department of Homeland Security that hacked 20 different Republican states in the run-up to the presidential elections, and not the Russians. We repeat, the Washington Post now confirms it was the Department of Homeland Security and not the Russians that hacked the presidential elections. Good evening. I'm Justin Farmer. I'm Jovita Moore. We broke news on Twitter today that Kentucky and West Virginia trace possible cyber attacks to the same U.S. Department of Homeland Security IP address found in a similar attempt in Georgia. Channel 2's investigative reporter Aaron Diamond talked exclusively with Georgia's Secretary of State, who is very concerned. Aaron joins us now live from Midtown, Atlanta. Aaron. Jovita, secretaries of state offices run state election systems, and as the scope of this story grows, so does the number of questions, a lot of red flags that remain unresolved. Another demand for answers from Georgia Secretary of State Brian Kemp to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. On Thursday, we confirmed election agencies in West Virginia and Kentucky have also traced suspected cyber attacks on its networks in November to the same DHS IP address. Through an open records request, we got a hold of the results of a survey Kemp asked the National Association of Secretaries of State send to its members. West Virginia wrote back, this IP address did access our election night results on November 7, 2016. Kentucky responded the same IP address did touch the Kentucky online voter registration system on one occasion, November 1, 2016. So far, the feds have asked for a list of all state IP addresses that came under attack. But while eager to cooperate, Kemp won't just flip the feds the keys. If they're asking for access to personal information in our voter registration systems and other things, there would have to be a very good explanation for us to grant access to that. Breaking news. Politico and other publications in the far left have retracted their story on Russians hacking the U.S. elections after it has come out that Obama ordered the Department of Homeland Security to carry out the theft of American democracy. The Gateway Pundit reports, quote, the Georgia Secretary of State's office now confirms 10 separate cyber attacks on its networks, and they were all traced back to the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, end quote. Polly Zett reports, quote, officials tell members of Congress the attack on state firewall could have been an inside job. An inside job ladies and gentlemen, and not the Russians. Obama went full treason on this one, and now everybody knows it. The Free Thought Project reports, quote, with the official narrative coming from the Obama administration, indeed the president himself, that the Russians stand guilty of hacking the presidential election of 2016. Many are left scratching their heads in disbelief that the only government found to be hacking a state election system thus far is the Department of Homeland Security, end quote. The pin post on Brian Kemp's official Twitter page, the Georgia Secretary of State says, at Donald Trump, Trump media should spend less time on Russia and more time covering the Department of Homeland Security's failed cyber attacks in Georgia. Please investigate as President of the United States, end quote. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the new Watergate of our times. Please share this message far and wide. And if you're listening to this, you are the resistance.